CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.3, Given a Scenario, Use Features and Tools of the Microsoft Windows 10 Operating System. Local Group Policy Editor. Now, for those of you who are paying close attention, this is the third time I will have mentioned Group Policy. Once when we discussed Windows 10 features, and again when we discussed the GP update and GP result commands. I figure it has to stick at some point. Just make sure you pay attention to the additional details sprinkled in, each time I cover this topic. With that said, the Local Group Policy Editor is a Microsoft Windows utility that allows administrators to control and configure operating system settings and user environments locally. This tool is essential for enforcing security policies, managing user settings, and ensuring consistent configurations on individual machines. Think of Local Group Policy Editor as the command center for implementing detailed policies and settings on your local machine. It allows you to control everything from password policies and software installation permissions to desktop configurations and network settings. By using the Local Group Policy Editor, administrators can streamline the management of a system, ensuring compliance with security policies and enhancing system security. To access the Local Group Policy Editor using the Windows Run dialog box, you can follow these simple steps. First, press the Windows key, along with the letter R, on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Next, type gpedit.msc into the Run dialog box and click OK. This command opens the Group Policy Editor window, where you can start configuring policies. The Local Group Policy Editor interface is divided into two main categories, Computer Configurations and User Configurations. Both categories contain a hierarchical tree of policy settings, organized into subcategories such as Software Settings, Windows Settings, and Administrative Templates. Computer Configurations allow you to configure policies that apply to the entire computer, regardless of who is logged in. Software settings help manage software-specific policies, such as installation settings for applications deployed across the computer, making it particularly useful for configuring software deployment and updates in a standardized manner. Windows settings include security settings like account policies and local policies, covering aspects such as password policies and account lockout policies. Configuring these settings enhances the security and compliance of the system. Administrative templates include a wide range of policies for managing settings related to Windows components and system behaviors, such as the Start menu, Control Panel, and Windows Update. These templates provide both policy definitions and detailed descriptions, making it easier to understand the effect of each setting. User configurations allow you to configure policies that apply to individual user accounts. This section mirrors the structure of computer configurations, but focuses on user-specific settings. This organized layout makes it easy to find and configure the settings you need to manage your systems effectively. In conclusion, the Local Group Policy Editor is a powerhouse tool for managing and configuring system and user settings on a single computer in Windows 10. By mastering how to navigate and utilize its features, you can supercharge your system's security and ensure consistent configurations on your local machine. As you continue your learning journey, you'll eventually graduate from managing a single system using the local group policy editor to overseeing an entire network of computers within a Windows domain. While this might sound daunting, don't worry. The fundamentals you've learned about group policies will still apply, making the transition smoother and more manageable. Keep up the great work. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.